Okay guys, so this is pretty exciting actually. I'm doing a uh, exhaust video, but I just want to show you something and uh, a bit of a sneak peek for what's to come. So I'm working on a custom dash uh, for this plane. Never been done before in aircraft. So I'm running custom fuel injection, custom um, everything basically, custom dash. So this is uh, what I'm doing. Is a bit of a sneak peek of the gauge. Obviously, I'm not using that one. Um, I've made up a, I've made a couple of different ones, um, and I'm just playing around with ideas. I'm integrating uh, airspeed altitude in that same gauge as well um, with some sensors. So, doing a bit of playing around. Never been done before. Just. I uh, wanted to show a bit of a sneak peek. Stay tuned for the next videos. We will do some more on this. Um, and the EFI system, which is a full custom EFI system. Um, so, that's where we're at. Now we'll get into the exhaust, uh, building the exhaust for this custom engine. And uh, let's get to it. For those that haven't uh, been following the channel, this is uh, one of the builds that I'm currently doing. I've built two aircraft in the past. This is my third um, design. So it's an amphibian aircraft that uh, you can basically drive down a boat ramp, wings fold out, take off, uh, go flying, fishing, whatever, out to the reef um, or to some islands. And then uh, you can put the wheels down in the water drive it up onto a beach and uh, jump out. So where I'm at with this, um, so I did break the windscreen that was uh, in a previous episode. So be sure to check that one out. Um, I'm working on the exhaust at the moment. So this is fully customized Subaru with a fully customized uh, propeller reduction box. So uh, it's good for uh, over 300 horsepower. Um, this engine is going to be putting out about 200 horsepower. It's turbocharged. So what we're doing today is how I work on making an exhaust for aircraft. Uh, so we're going to go through the whole uh, process, start, finish, how I do it, um, and uh, what I do to alleviate cracking and things like that as well. So. As you can see here, I've got the GT28 turbo on the front. It's water cooled and oil cooled. So you can see I've got the uh, drain, this one here, straight down to the sump. So that's that. These are the water coolant hoses. And then I've got the inlet for the um, oil on the top. Now, this is fully customized. So I had to pull the sump off weld in a uh, fitting. I bent up a bit of chrome oily tube and a flange and because um, what you want to try and do is get as, mo as much of that oil out of that turbo as quick as possible because that's where all the heat is as well. Um, so it's lubricating the uh, journal bearings but also taking away a bit of heat as well as well as the coolant. So you can see there intercooler. I have a few things on the go at the moment but um, my loom is in, it actually goes through and down. I'll seal all this once I'm finished, uh, but that way I can get all my, um, all my wires in and out, plugs into the computer down here, and uh, I've got this for my laptop, so I can actually completely, this is a full custom programmable uh, EFI computer fuel injection system. I can control spark um, timing and injection and uh, all tuned from my laptop. So that's what we're doing. Um, but today we're working on the exhaust. So I will um, show you what I've got going on here. We've got all the bits and pieces just all laid out. 
Um, these guys, I'll put a link in the bottom, but these guys in Australia, uh, really good online site. You can actually order these mandrel bends, um, 90s, 45s, or um, even 15s, I think. You can order them with a flange on one end, without a flange, um, both flanged. Actually really good. They come in this plastic, this plastic here, not too bad. Um, but basically this is all my bends I've got out. So the, these are just the uh, bellows type. The, um, you, you might often see the, um, the weaved stainless steel mesh ones. I like these because they take up a fair bit more and they're uh, more hardy for ex uh, aircraft exhaust. This thing's going to be running at, um, you know, on takeoff probably 5,000 RPM constant, uh, pushing 200 horsepower. So um, it's going to be a fair bit of power and uh, some vibration and stuff. There's going to be a fair bit of heat in this exhaust as well. So it's all stainless steel exhaust. I've got a small muffler here um, that I will set up coming out of the turbo. All these springs, I've got a heap of these springs. These are like you see on um, motorbikes um, and aircraft. They're a... Uh, a spring that you can actually keep these joints together and um, inlet for the turbo my exhaust stainless steel exhaust flanges ready to all I got to do is actually just um, get the Dremel into there just so that they slide in because uh, they don't quite slide in so just got to do a bit of that today this here is the merge um, so it's a two into one merge collector there. Um, I'm actually going to uh, modify this here so it actually fits into this um, intake of the turbo and then it will have the uh, two inch and three quarters coming out um, which are these, it'll be a 45 coming out, um, coming out down that way. The whole plan for this um, exhaust is it's going to be it's two into one out here I'm going out and up and up into the turbo so you can see this here is the actual inlet flange for that turbo right up in there but it will make more sense once I start getting some tubes fitted so we'll do that and uh, this side is the exit um, to the turbo exit um, coming out 90 degrees straight out off this that's the uh, exit of the turbo so it's all the hot gas uh, it's got an internal wastegate on there as well um, so there's the actuator for the internal wastegate for any wasted uh, um, exhaust that we don't need to spin up spool up that turbo that's what we're up to let's get into it and uh, let's have some fun setup and uh, I've tacked in the um, you can see there the merge collector two into one just under the turbo I've tacked it together I think it's too long so what I'm gonna have to do is um, cut off those tacks shorten it substantially and then um, tack it all back together so okay so I have cut this uh, a lot shorter 
problem solving though, what I've got here, so I had this taper um, for it to line up on this freshly cut flange. I put it in the press and I actually pushed this down so that this lines up that way. What I'm gonna do is actually weld the sides, put it back into the press and then press these sides in so that I line up the, uh, the intake for that turbo properly. So you can see the sides now, I've pressed them, they're nice and even. And then I'm gonna have little stubs come out of this as the merge, both sides. All right, so ready to weld this. What I've done as well, and you can might be able to see it in the camera. So I wanna weld these edges, but I wanna push these ones in. So I've actually, if you have a look really closely there, I've actually made that, um, relieve that a little bit. So uh, just put the flappy disc on the grinder, relieved it a little bit so that as I push it in, it will actually give it some room to move down a little bit as well. Cause I'm expecting, because these are fixed here with a weld, as I push in there, it's probably gonna go down. So on both sides, I've left a little clearance. It's only a couple of mil. Um, and we'll see, we'll see how that goes. All right, so that was a bit of an effort, but um, we got there in the end. So what I've done here is this is what I've been doing is um, so I can actually squeeze that all in. Now what I'm gonna do is weld these bits, weld the whole lot out. And you can see that it's still slightly out of shape. I've got uh, some heavier tube that I'm actually gonna push in there. Uh, once it's welded, I'll press it down and that way uh, we'll get a nice round um, fitment again and uh, should be perfect. So took a bit longer than expected, but um, you know, these things happen. Just been tacking some of this in place. So I've got the bellows here which is for its expansion and contraction, coming off the header and up to here. So it's going up into the turbo. So basically that's where I'm at with it at the moment, just tacking it together. So I can pull it off and uh, weld it all up for a final fit and good to go. Um, so basically the exhaust head has come out of the engine through this bellows. This allows a bit of expansion and contraction there. Goes up into the bottom of the turbo. And now I'm gonna do the, the top coming out. The exhaust comes out around into the muffler.
I've just um, run out of gas on my welder. So uh, that's about all I'm doing for this uh, this weekend. So thanks for watching. I'm going to wrap this one up here. We will catch you on the next one.